Okay, just putting it out there, I got a new camera where the screen like flips forward, so if I'm looking in this general direction, don't take it personally. I'm just watching myself look ugly. Yikes. Do these stripes make me look fat? See, the thing about that was I was fat before I put the stripes on, so there's no fixing that. Maybe I should think before I talk. So maybe I should think before, maybe next time I think before I talk. What is up, YouTube? It's Ash. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, you should probably hit subscribe somewhere down below if you like my face and you want to see some more of my wonderful, exciting, riveting content. Anyways, so today I'm doing a back to school supplies haul because we all love the idea of going back to school shopping, but we hate the idea of going back to school. So here's yet another friendly reminder that we have to go back to prison soon. I'm kidding, stay in school, kids. I just really love bragging about all of the overpriced, aesthetically pleasing planners that I invest in. So half of the stuff that I'm going to show is new and half of the stuff isn't. Anyways, let's just uh, let's just start this thing. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to have for the upcoming school year is my backpack. Wow, shocker, right? This is not new because I'm I'm not about to drop those bills for a new backpack every year. This one is from Amazon, and it's by the brand Vashi. I don't know, but it's cool. It's huge, and it's my favorite color, and it's got like a laptop pouch inside it's sturdy it also has like two side pockets for water bottles so you can stay hydrated that's important speaking of water bottles that was a that was a good segue i have this one this water bottle is from the pint shop which i got in new york city it's like a secondary location to the museum of ice cream which is in san francisco this place was just like an ice cream wonderland. They had walls of ice cream cartons and ice cream merch, such as this water bottle. But yeah, I guess this is from the cherry collection because it's got a cherry on it. It's pink and the top matches my backpack, so I thought it was, it was cute. Also, these water bottles are really good because they're like insulated inside. They keep your cold drinks cold, which is really important because the first half of the school year is like a sauna. The next thing I got is this thing. Um, what is it called? This is an accordion folder and I'm very happy with this purchase. I got this from Target and this is new. It's just really good to be organized and this will keep me organized because... Why am I losing a fight to an accordion folder? Okay, I can separate my subjects in here so, you know, if I need to take something home, I'm not about to throw it in just a random folder. No, no, no. I've got this thing. I had one last year, but it was huge. But this one is vertical and rather thin so it's not going to be as bulky in my backpack and yeah i just got it in a gray color because they had black but i was like that's basic the next thing i got from target is a planner because the planners my school gives out are actual trash obviously this is new you kind of need a new planner every year it's by mead cambridge edition so you know i'm sophisticated it's just gray and it's got these rose gold speckles on it that's a look i thought it was cute planners save lives just putting that out there i don't think i would have gotten through four years of high school if i didn't have a planner that you know wasn't trash invest in a planner it's a good idea next thing i've got here are notebooks wow that was a move these two are new they're from target all of them are by that same brand that my planner was this one is just a really cute pink color and this one is like navy and it's got a it's got an interesting little design down here. I like having individual notebooks for my individual subjects just because I do. I'll probably use this one for AP Spanish and I'll probably use this one for AP Gov. And yes, I am taking all AP classes next year. Why did I do that to myself? I don't know, but I did. Another really cool thing about these notebooks is that they have like the days and the months on top. So for a person like me that for some reason always forgets to write the date on top of their notes that's handy the next notebook i'm gonna show i got off of amazon and yeah it is another mean cambridge edition it's fancier and it's stripey i'm using this for my ap lit class because i have a summer assignment and i need to write notes so i have this i got it from last year but um you can probably still find it on amazon the next notebook i'm gonna show is this fun thing 
Again, same brand, but it's smaller and it's in a mint green color. And I got this at Staples, I believe. Um, I'm using this for AP Calc because it's not a writing heavy class, but I do like to solve my problems in a notebook. So I thought I'd just get a smaller one to, you know, be efficient. The last notebook I've got here is this fun little composition notebook from Walmart. I got this last year because I thought I was going to need it, but I didn't. Hopefully I'm going to use this this year. Yeah, I thought it was cute. It's very, very flimsy and it's college ruled. I think all of them are college ruled because I don't play with wide ruled. It's just not my thing. But it says hello in rose gold. So that's cute. The next thing I'm going to show technically isn't for a back to school. It's kind of just for life. It's this. This is my bullet journal. I'm not responsible enough to keep up with this, but I'm trying it out anyways. Yeah, I use this to keep track of my life because I am recently doing more things. I have a life to keep track of now. Wow, who would have thought? So I need to plan out like when I do work and when I don't do work. I am now a social media person. I, I run people's Instagrams, it's a thing. The Instagram I'm running is called Pampered Pets and it's basically an e-commerce website for like pet products to pamper your pets with. It's pretty self-explanatory. I post a lot of cute puppy pictures, so that's one reason you should follow it. So I have these pens. They're fancy pens, let me tell you. So I like my notes to be pretty, as you can probably tell by my last video. Watch my last video, by the way. It was helpful, I swear. I have these cool pens that um, make my notes pretty. So yeah, these are just like normal felt tip pens. This is the Pigma Micron 05 pen, and I have three of them. They have like different size tips, so I have the 05, the 03, and the 01. This pen is also pretty simple. It's the Paper Mate pen. You know, the cool one that the teachers have to like tell you how wrong you are on your tests. Now I have one for myself. And these are brush pens because I thought I would get them. Um, I have this one in like a light purple and this one in a light blue. And then I have black and gray. I use these to make my notes colorful and I hope to get more. These are the Tombow dual tip pens. I mean, that makes sense. It's got two sides. So it's got the brush pen side and this side. Yeah, I'm using them for my assignment and as you can probably see, it's, it's very, very nice. The next thing I have are highlighters because those are essential. These are the Zebra Mild Liner and they're from Japan, I think. I thought they were fancy and I kind of need highlighters because mine suck. I just hit my laptop with those. The next thing I have here is my pencil case. That was smooth. I got this last year from Forever 21 and it's supposed to be a makeup bag, but I'm a rule breaker and I'm using it as a pencil case. It's my favorite color. It's velvet, so when I'm in school, I can just pet it and pretend it's my dog and maybe I won't want to die every minute of the day. I just filled it with some pens. Some are new, some are old, and I kind of don't feel like rummaging through this to show you the new and old pens, so. Speaking of old pens, this is what I call the piece of shit bag. Let me explain. If someone asks me if I have a pen or a pencil or a highlighter, I'm just gonna hand them this. And this bag is just full of pens and pencils that may or may not have ink or lead in it, so it's basically playing writing roulette. If you get one that doesn't have ink, then sorry, that sucks. I'm kidding, I'll give you a better one, just don't ask me for pencils. The next thing I have in here is also from Amazon. It's old, but um, it's these binder clips. They were overpriced, but I mean, who cares? They're cute and marble. The next thing I've got here is some paper because obviously I need paper, even though I have notebooks to write in. I don't know. I, these are old, so I figured why not use them. These are from Five Star, so you know they're fancy. They're reinforced with triangle holes, so I guess that means they're stronger. The next thing I have here are my binders. And yes, these are old and very beat up because I use them for junior year, and junior year just kind of broke me all together, but we're not talking about that. I have this white binder, and I have a black binder. I don't know what these are going to be used for yet because I don't have my schedule. Inside, I just- oh shit. Inside, I just have these dividers. Yeah, they're cute. Look, they're ombre and colorful. Maybe that will brighten my day a little bit more in school. I also have this one because I definitely need dividers with the pockets in them because sometimes teachers just don't give you hole punch papers. I'm just like, ugh, you had one job. That's a lie. They don't have just one job. Okay, so I have these pencils 
and yes, these are also reused from last year, and I don't know why I never used them. I always looked for number two pencils, but I just never had them. Well, I guess I did, I just in my locker, but they're black. Now that I have black pencils, I can die satisfied. And then I have this. I never used this last year, and I thought I would. Um, these are index cards, and they come in this cute little thing. I have an unnecessary amount in here, but um, that's just what school supply shopping does to you. Yeah, I mean, like, the rest of the stuff in my backpack are just old locker stuff. Um, I'm surrounded with a bunch of school supplies now, so I think this is a good time to end this. Okay, so, uh, that was my supplies haul. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it was somewhat exciting to some people. I don't know, maybe this motivates you to want to go back to school. I wish you guys the best of luck in the upcoming school year, and if you ever need motivation, then... Look at those cute puppy pictures I told you about. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Adios!